Hmm. I'll go masa this year. Um, yeah, I, and I see a lot of people in the world now who are working and, and living a life that they don't want to live and feel that they can't change it. And I feel they can. Um, I'm living proof of it. So it, it's a patient process, uh, but it's an important process, I think. Um, just in my personal life, it's made me a lot happier to just do what, what's in my heart and not be trapped by what the people around me and society has told me to do. And I would say to anybody in the world, like if you're stuck in that place, take the risk, go for it, because it's so much more rewarding to, to do what you love to do than to be trapped in a world of, I have to do this. I started to learn clown, I was 17, and then I continued to study uh, theater more and uh, pantomime to really become a, as strong as I can be uh, in this time as a clown. When I started, uh, I, I was not really funny at all, <laughs> and uh, I would go out to make some jokes and the people would stay like this and uh, they wouldn't laugh because I was trying to be funny for them and do funny things instead of uh, really just trying to be peaceful and uh, to laugh with them and to find the things together that are funny about the life. I was playing one day with the people and they were clapping and I started to play this game and uh, one day I went like this and I put the applause and there it was and afterwards I had to put it someplace and so I took I took off my hat and I put in my hat and then I put it on my head and I could start but my hat fell off my head during the routine doing something and the people started to clap and then I realized that they were still playing the game and then I had to put the applause back in the hat and then after I had to take off my hat for the routine but I had to put the applause someplace else. So I put it in my pocket and then I needed someplace else and finally I put it in a box so I could leave this, this game because I had to continue with the routine and when I came back at the end I could play with it and uh, then I found that uh, the time of it uh, only the time that was necessary was just to start and put it in the box and then I could use it like I want. It kept following me, uh, the life of uh, being a clown. It was something that um, I found a lot of enjoyment in and I found a lot of freedom as a, as a creator, a writer, an artist.
for me, my favorite joke is probably uh, in the routine that I'm making with the cups, that uh, when I can't do it and I can't do it, I scream at the cups and yell. And the, it's something true about the life of people. We try, we try, we try, we can't do it. Sometimes we're so angry inside, we have to, ah! <laughs> This is a joke from my father. <laughs> this is a story of real life. My father fixes everything with uh, tape. If the car is broken, he has, it's not uh, masking tape, it's like a big gray tape, duct tape. And okay, uh, don't worry, I can fix this. And he fixes everything with tape. And then really when he has the time to fix it, he will, but everything in his life, there's so much tape in our house. And uh, I found it very funny that uh, anything, the window breaks and oh, don't worry, <laughs> put some tape and it's fine. And uh, then I started to think about this for the clown because it's great to have this. I know, I have some tape. <laughs> It's, uh, the character right now has a, a, an innocence, uh, a quality of uh, wonder still, like, uh, like children have. There's this uh, vulnerability, this innocence, this wonder that, uh, that when we're old we can remember how we were when we're children. And, uh, and the other side of it is, for me, that there are, there are levels of, of certain normal emotions that I have, a, a twisted mind sometimes. So. Uh, this character also has this dark side, like this little devil inside, and this mischievous side that likes to play, that becomes from this sweet little ha to a little bit of... <laughs> and likes to play, and likes to be mean from time to time. And uh, all of these, uh, these little elements combined together become this character. Like my heroes. There's a few. There's an old vaudevillian named George Carl who... Uh, he was the first clown that I really watched that um, didn't wear makeup. He was more of an eccentric character, but really personified clown, which is this, this simple, quirky person who's there to do something very simple and can't achieve it. He just has so many problems along the way. And then when he gets to do the most difficult thing, he does it with such great ease. So he can't tie his shoes but he could walk on a high wire. And he could take 20 minutes to tie his shoes. And the way he could use his body and his sense of timing and his, his um, he had a dance with his body and with all these problems. It wasn't a structured routine. It was just a practiced skill. And he could put any combination of anything together. And he could go off for an hour or two hours and do uh, whatever he wanted. And it was really poetic to watch. This adventure that I started uh, became uh, this worldwide travel. I've been traveling now for 17 years. I've seen so much. I've seen 43 countries around the world. I never imagined to go and travel. It's tiring at times. It's. Uh, to be on the road nine, ten months of the year, to be away from my friends and my family um, is difficult.